Hello and welcome to the second in a series of home glass hacks. Today we're going to learn how to do hot popping, which is cutting glass using a chef's blowtorch. So this is the one that I got, but you can get any brand as long as it's from a reputable source. As with any new piece of equipment, always make sure you read the instructions before you start. So you'll see with the one that I've chosen here, it's got a good few features that'll make it easier for us. It's got a base to stand on upright. It's got a guard for your hand. It's got a switch, which means you can turn it on and leave it firing without having to hold it down. These torches are filled with butane gas. I'm going to show you how to fill your torch as it can be tricky sometimes. I've gone with the brand Clipper. It's a very well known brand. You'll see there's a variety of nozzles that come with your can of butane gas, but usually the nozzle that's already on it fits just well. So you'll see in the bottom of your torch, there is a little gasket that's where you want to slot the little red nozzle on your tank of butane into and push down. So it only takes about 10 seconds to fill your torch and you'll notice that it's full when some gas starts blowing back and turns to liquid. So make sure you wash this off. The next piece of equipment we'll need is a turntable. You can get plastic ones and you can get metal ones. However, I prefer the metal ones as they've got more weight in it and turn more evenly, especially if you're cutting heavier glass on it. It's got a nice rubber base on it, so it has grip on whatever surface you put it on. You'll also need some blue tack or even a little bit of clay so that's used to actually tack down your glass piece onto the turntable so that it doesn't move. And you'll need some jars or bottles, whatever glass you can find in the recycling at home. As always with our home glass hacks, safety comes first. So get yourself a pair of safety glasses to protect your eyes. You remember in the first lesson we used a tungsten glass scorer. We're going to be using that again today to put a little score line in our glass. The great thing about this method is that you can use glass from your own recycling at home. Can anyone guess what this one comes from? So any beer bottles, jam jars, jars from sauces can be used as long as they're round. These can then be repurposed as drinking glasses or even tea light holders. Get yourself set up in a position where you can look at your project at eye level. I like to sit down for this. So put your turntable on a table, make sure the surface cannot burn. You're going to start by putting a small score line in your glass. For this, use a corner of this tungsten scorer, hold down firmly and drag it so that it's a few millimetres long. When the glass heats up with our torch, it causes stress in it and the score line just directs that stress so that it cracks all the way around. Place it in the centre of your turntable and use the blue tack or the clay to hold it in place. This is a really important step because when you're turning it, if there's any sort of movement, your glass could fall off or go off center.
Start by positioning your glass where you can see the score line. This is where you're going to hold the flame when it begins. Open the gas nozzle on your torch. A lot of these torches have ignition switches, but sometimes it's not enough to light the gas. For this, I'm using a lighter instead. Adjust the gas nozzle until you have a long tapered point on your flame. Hold the flame so that the glass is positioned at the end of the point. This is the hottest part of the flame. And turn your glass slowly and evenly. If you turn too fast, it won't heat up. And if you turn too slowly, one section will heat up more than another and it could cause it to crack down into the actual jar. This can take a few minutes to heat up until it eventually pops. So just have patience and take your time. After a while, the glass should crack all the way around. Turn off your torch and then leave the glass for a while to cool as it will still be hot. After a few minutes, your glass will be cool enough to touch. You must be really careful when you're handling this as the edges are razor sharp and can cut your hands very easily. Also remember if you're storing this glass to make sure you wrap it and keep it out of reach of pets or children. Sometimes hot pops don't pop so cleanly and they can crack down into the glass. But over time you can perfect this method. Check out my next video where you can cold work your glasses at home using wet and dry silicon carbide paper to grind down the rim and bring it up to a high polish so you can safely use these glasses to drink from. Thanks for watching.